foolish mortals. And here we go, Mario. Start. This is my favorite part of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Check it out. I hate the Forest of Illusions, man. I hate this fucking place so much. You're not even in a fucking forest anymore. It's true. This is obviously salt water. Where where was the ocean that this came from in the overworld? Why is it breaking my immersion in Skyrim? Yeah, man. Oblivion. If there's one thing you want when you're playing um, Wind Waker, it's it's immersion. Dude, good Wind Waker reference, bro. Thanks. Can I tell you something? Thanks. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say something. Do it, man. Tell me something. Um. I am sad that the next Elder Scrolls game is going to take a long time, but also I hope that it is taking a long time because they want to take it to the next level. Do you well, know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, I'm not a huge fan of that series, but it seems like, have they made a bad one? Like once they started getting yeah, into this shit, like, there mean, were bad ones? <sighs> Cause I know everybody was kissing Oblivion's dick, and then... Kissing what's dick? Oblivion's dick. Oh. That was part of the well, Elder Scrolls shit, right? Well, yeah. That was absolutely a dick worth kissing. Um, I wouldn't into that one. I actually, you know, real talk here, real talk for a second, was not a huge fan of Oblivion. And also, I never really played Morrowind, but everyone everyone talks about Morrowind like it's the best one. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not the case. Hmm. I'm sure that, like, it, ha it it seems to me to have a clear atmosphere to it, and that's cool. But I do certainly get the vibe where it's like, people are only treating it like the best one because it's the first Elder Scrolls game that was not an absolute overt piece of shit. Because hmm. before that, it was Daggerfall, which was very, like, mind magic. Like, not like... It was a, it was a really, really empty kind of game. So you're saying it's like a nostalgia thing. Exactly, yes. Okay. I believe that Morrowind falls into the nostalgia effect. I'm not saying it's a bad game, and I think, uh... But I didn't play it, because at the time I wasn't interested. And, uh, I might be now. But, uh... It's too late. Yoshi, little butthole. Eh, fuck him. I've long since, uh, gone past the point where I care about Yoshi. I, uh... Mm. I expect him to fail, so I'm no longer disappointed. I expect him to leave me. Okay. So let's see what that gets me. There we go, nice. Is this what we wanted? I have no idea, let's find out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think that was it, yeah. I think we're good. Okay, so now all I gotta do is come in here. No, you're supposed to get a castle and unlock Star Road. What castle? The one to the fucking left that you were working on. God damn it. <laughs> no, that was the Blue Fortress, you already did that. No, you dingle. This way. Dude, okay, you have to do it. The one that's down there. You see the, the bottom left, how it keeps going? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go to that castle over there. Why do I have to do it? Because you don't want to do this level. <laughs> Trust me, this level's a huge pain in the ass. I'm not entirely sure I want to do any levels. Now. I might die right now. <laughs> like, that's how fucking annoying this level is. This is one of my least favorite levels. Because there's just... It's gonna get to a point where there's just so much shit. I don't know, I think I was handling it okay. Well... I'm not saying you weren't. But you were. I mean, I know I came in here and died immediately, but come on. Plus, there's Yoshi's around every corner. You this think, is okay, why they put erasers on pencils, bro. Everyone even- That's some true shit, man. That's some wisdom right there. Uh, everyone always- Like, I always- FUCK! NO! FUCKING MUSHROOM! Why? Oh, it killed your fed. Yeah. Uh, Bastard. <sighs> All I wanted was that. <laughs> So there's a fruit up there that was purple. Was that special? Yeah, you get like... Uh, I don't fucking know exactly how it works because I never bothered with that shit, but... If you eat the pinky ones, they give you more... If you eat a bunch of apples on Yoshi, then he'll like start crapping out mushrooms and shit. Or something, or extra lives or something. If you eat the pink ones, it gives you more points towards that happening, I think. I see. Yeah. The bombs in this game look stupid. Yeah, they're weird. 
They now have, I like, did the not know or the TikTok part. Yeah, like, I did not know what Bobombs looked like before this, but they're very it's uh, a lot better. It's a huge step back. They're minimal. To... They're very minimalist in this game for no reason. In an era where people were adding detail to things, they're more minimal minimalist. In and this one. contrary that, or compare that to the fucking the Goombas. Look at these guys. Yeah, they, I mean they're not Goombas. The tomatoes. Like, <laughs> why'd they switch like genus between series? <laughs> Exactly, though. but they put, like, way more detail into them in this one, which is why they look weird. Well, I don't know, they, they look totally different. Like, they don't look like mushrooms anymore, they look like fucking... FUCKING! You know what? Dude, I wanna watch you die. I'm not even gonna try to get you back. Okay, you're getting weird. Weird and cocky. See, this is your own fault. Come on. That was because you wouldn't save Yoshi. Fuck Yoshi. He got the last laugh in the end, man. Did he? He's at the bottom of this fucking pit now. <laughs> Yeah, but you're about to get murdered by this. Oh, oh god damn it! Okay, I wasn't ready for him to start running right there. Jamie Madrox, the turtle man. Let thing. me finish saying what I was saying about. Uh... <coughs> I'll just scroll real quick. Oh, okay, yeah. I hope it's taking long because they're pushing it to the next level. I hope it's taking a long time because they're taking care of the things that are not good about Skyrim. I am a huge fan of, specifically Skyrim. I wasn't a huge fan of Oblivion, um, and like I said, I've never played Morrowind, but I love Skyrim like with all my heart. It's my favorite game. Yeah, I was gonna say like, what's wrong with Skyrim? Nothing's wrong. Well, well, there's plenty wrong with it. I, I love Skyrim. I I'll preface it by saying it's my favorite game, like straight up. I like it. Like Skyrim is the the definition of what I consider to be like a game. Like. <laughs> You didn't give me the purple ones? You almost got me killed, man. Oh, I have no idea where those are. I think they're in the next area. I'm not sure, though. Well, maybe I'll look it up later. I don't know. Anyway. I love this fucking music. This is my favorite song in this game, by the way. Let me get on record as saying that I love the castle music in this game. Alright, made it through the first part. <sighs> so I love Skyrim, but there are problems with it. Like, the combat is pretty shitty for the most part. The magic system is bad in the default game. Um... Oh yeah, this is the part where I always die. Yeah, so you want to jump? In, you want to jump like? You don't want to try to jump over both of them. You want to? You want to jump in the middle of them? Middle seems bad, dude. Just, just, just do it. Okay, so yeah, you, you, it's tricky timing, but you don't want to try to jump over both of them and then run up. There's like a certain time for it. Okay. I really wish they put the checkpoint before that part. It's pretty lame that they don't. Mm. Mm. Uh, now you want it, huh? What, what? Mushroom. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I know you didn't seem pretty happy about it earlier. Yeah, there's a reason for that. There's reasons for things. Do I need to explain how reasons work to you? <laughs> I guess not. So I hope they're taking time to fix the combat, and like... Uh, there's also, like, it feels pretty limiting in a lot of ways. Like, I know this isn't fair, because those games are pretty huge, relatively speaking. But it's also kind of lame to be playing this game, and it's like, I know it's it's set in Skyrim. Like, the name of the game is Skyrim. You're supposed to go Skyrim. When you've played it through, like, 12 times, and there's people talking about, like, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this boat right now to across the world. And you're like, why can't I go across the world? I want to get on that boat, let me do it! But they won't let you, because, you know, it's not in the game. Oh, but yeah. in a game that that is all about, like... You know, exploring the world and being so expansive and intricate, it's really lame that you can't explore the whole world, actually. And I realize that's a limit, there's a practicality to it, but I think it would be neat if, uh... You know... That's why they were going to take so long to release the next one, which is supposedly es estimated to come out in 2020. Okay. But I would be more more interested in them fixing the combat. So than... you're expecting them to actually have a completely fleshed out, fully explorable, as much detailed, if not more, as Skyrim entire planet. Kind of, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm... I think that's way too much to expect out of a game, dude. I'm not expecting it. I'm hoping for it. I feel like they could do it. If they really wanted to, I feel like they absolutely could. I mean, could. if they got, like, the, uh, world-generating, uh, capabilities of No Man's Sky. <laughs> but, you know, just put it on one planet, you know? Um, 
I don't want anything about No Man's Sky to have to do with the next <laughs> Elder Scrolls game at all. Let me let me go on record to say that, dude. Uh, but I think you're being a little harsh, but okay. Uh, I think I'm being less harsh than I should be by a lot. I'd like to. Uh, I think I'd be extremely kind. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to just point out for our viewers that weren't with us at lunch. I've spent the bulk of my morning bitching about No Man's Sky. <laughs> You want me to do this part for you, or are you... Nah. Okay. <laughs> I just, I like to check, you know, just in case. Alright. <laughs> I like how you just, you just went as far as you could, and we're like, let's see where this goes. Right. I mean, maybe next time, I'll let you do that for me. Okay. Because, goddamn, I'm tired of this fucking forest. I don't know why I'm doing this castle. <laughs> we're not even the fortress forest anymore, man. Just get me out we're of out this of place, man. Get me out. <laughs> Oh wait, before I wrap this, real quick, I just want to say, it's not as, I don't as much hope that they create a bigger flesh out world, I hope they fix the gameplay problems more than I, more than I hope that they do a big world thing. That's what I really want, I want a better combat system. I want a combat system where you don't use the same one magic spell, like, through the whole fucking game, because it's almost always the best one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 